Alright, Peter, same rules, it's seven minutes. You'll get a minute warning, one minute warning, 30 second countdown, and then 30 second right through. Okay, awesome. Ready to go? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my uncle told me before he got shot by a mugger. Peter, with great power comes great responsibility. Today, seated before me are three very powerful men. Perhaps one of you would be more powerful if you taught at UBC, not naming any names. <laughs> Nevertheless, very powerful. And today I present you an opportunity to exert that power. Not only for profit, but because it's your obligation. No, your responsibility to give to society the I-arm, forearm, mount. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Jobs passed away, as you all know, but his product, oh, his product lives on in society. I'd say, if I asked you to raise your hands, ask if you had an iPod or an Apple product, every one of you would likely raise your hands, at least 90%. This product is revolutionizing the world, businesses, schools, doesn't matter where. Everyone has an Apple in their pocket. Except me, I'm stuck with this stupid Rogers flip phone. But nevertheless, what our company is going to do is essentially we're going to manipulate the hard work of Steve Jobs for our benefit. Why? Because it's going to make you money. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone wants to use their iPod. Everyone wants to use their iPad at all times. Look at him. He has a Samsung tablet, I believe it is. Our product was all, will also work with tablets. But again, you have distractions. You've got to drink coffee, you know? You've got to do a lot of things during your day. So obviously the natural sort of progression is simply put it on your arm, hands-free, right, ladies and gentlemen? Driving your car, hands-free, that's the rule, right? Hands-free, right? We're not breaking any laws. Boom, your iPad. Hell, we even have a design, we have a designation for individuals who eat a lot. Now guess what happens? I don't know how many of you were here for my last company's pitch, but essentially, Individuals start eating a lot, then we sell them scooters so they lose weight, right? So our entire company is essentially, you know, it's all, I'll let you guys in on that later, right? But let's talk about this product first. Who are we selling to? Ladies and gentlemen, we're selling to the crazies of society. The individuals who will buy absolutely anything. Let's be honest for a second. I'm talking to my investors here. Is this product really necessary? No. You can live without it, right? But guess what? If we target the right market, the mentally insane, if you will, <laughs> this product's a hit for sure. And that's all that really matters, right? That you get your wallets pumped up, right? And we promise that we have the perfect market to make this happen. Specifically, youth and universities. Crazy, buy absolutely anything. This is for sure going to work. And that's particularly why we have a professor on board, because you know we can market it in SFU, and then it essentially networks outward, right? Next, why will we succeed? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, we're poetic, all right? We're not going to sell a product. No, we're going to make this a little bit more poetic. We're going to sell, we're going to sell comfort, all right? We're going to sell convenience. That's what we're really selling. All our marketing schemes will essentially have a poetic uh, theme to it, if you will. Our product, our marketing team is absolutely out of this world. So I can guarantee you that this sort of area, poetry, if you will, our product will encompass that. Second of all, confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, having the iPod, iPad with you, if you will, what does that say about you? I personally think that says that you're a professional. You know, you're hip. You're on top of, you know, the hipster train, if you will. It boosts self-confidence. So our product, at the same time, will essentially enable individuals to always carry an Apple product with them. And why, why would they want to do this? Simple, self-confidence. That's what Apple products do, right? Let individuals take control of their lives. And all this helps perpetuate self-confidence. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, soap making. Why is soap making important? 
Soap making, ladies and gentlemen, is another actual facet of our company. All right? um, we sell sort of, you know, lifestyle, if you will, lifestyle products, if you will, Airbnb Limited. Now, the reason we feel that soap making will give us the competitive advantage is because on every bar of soap, you'll see a little market, if you will, a little marketing campaign for our product. So essentially, you can't go to the bathroom without seeing an iPad hand dispenser thing the jiggy. That's why we feel we'll succeed. Who's in our way? Hockey players, I freaking hate them. <laughs> First of all, hockey's not a sport, all right? National sport, yeah, right. This is our competition. The Ryan Kesslers of the world, the Marcus Aslans of the world, I don't know, those are the two hockey players that really matter, in my opinion. But anyways, these are the guys who are our primary competition. They're the individuals trying to stop our product from emanating throughout. That's not a problem, because our competitive advantage, boom, we'll get them for sure. And finally, how much can we make? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you exactly what's happening here, right? I understand that this graph is a little confusing to the average investor, all right? And I like my investors being, you know, feeling convenient. So let you close your eyes for a second. Let's forget about the formalities. Close your eyes, imagine you're in Hawaii or whatever, right? Imagine a graph, if you will. I just want you to imagine a linear function. Now, I know some of us are a little slow. A linear function is essentially a line that goes straight up. That's our revenue function. Forget about all this clutter, all right? I don't want my investors dealing with that, all right? This particular drop is actually because apparently it's good to donate to charities or whatever, so we'll do that once in a while, I guess. But right after we donate to charities, right back up. And finally, our X factor, the game changer. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna use animals, the future. Everyone loves animals, we're going to use animals to market our product, all right? Every animal will be equipped with a little dispenser holding an iPad. You're going to see them everywhere. And this is our primary game changer. Everyone loves cute animals, right? So you're going to have animals walking around, you're going to see an animal with an iPod, you're going to want to buy an iPod dispenser. This is the game changer. And that's it, guys. That's why our product's going to sell. That's why our product's going to be number one. And that's why it's our responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, to fulfill my death, dead on those uncle's wishes and have this product introduced to society at large. Thank you very much. So how much money are you asking for and why is all my money going to charities? Oh, not all your money. Not all your money. You know, I had some really stupid people working for me. That's particularly why I need a million dollar investment at this point. Hire some smart individuals. What you saw was just the first part of the curve, of course. We're going to have a, you know, a sort of session after our revenue reaches a particular point. Where we're going to start donating charities. It's going to be a huge event, right? I don't know, Red Cross. That's the only charity I actually know. All right? Any other particular charities that you'd like, we'll donate to them. We're going to make this a public event, right? We're going to donate a large amount of funds at that point, right? But afterwards, again, it's not linear functions, right? Because once we donate these funds to charities, right, you're going to see like sick kids with little iPod dispensers on them, right? And who doesn't want that, right? Like, who is not going to want to buy from a company that gives sick kids free iPod dispenser things, right? So after that point, linear function all the way up. You only saw the first part of the graph. Any more questions? I'm just wondering how you might deal with trademark infringement. Lawsuits from Apple? Yeah. Oh, please. Apple's got nothing on me, yo. <laughs> Apple's got nothing on me. First of all, this is not a particular product that Apple has a right to particularly, you know, like trademark themselves. Because as I said, the Samsung can also be, you know, uh, used as a tablet, right? But I, I suppose you're particularly talking about the fact that we're using the eye, right? That may raise some concerns. Not a problem. I'm friends with the guy who runs out with Bill Gates or whatever his name is, right? Don't even worry about it, right? I'm friends with him. I talked to him. We're good to go. He told me in school I can use the eye wherever I want. We're good to go. No worries. I'd like to understand if um, you have specific market segmentation involved and if you're going to be looking for any kind of um, industrial customers and so which ones. Um, you're talking about specific markets that we'd like to sort of target individually? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, again, the businessmen, first of all, are huge for us, right? So 
So we feel that our investors can really make a, uh, can make a, you know, can help us out there. Because, you know, you guys are involved in networking that community in the first place, right? So if we can sell it to businessmen, first of all, it's huge, right? You're busy, you don't want to be in your car, not checking your iPod, checking your emails. We feel that we first start with you, right? And then as I mentioned, we go on to professors, right? Professors have it, and all their students have it, because I mean, what's cooler than a professor, right? We all want to look like our professor, right? So once our professor has a particular product, then we feel that students as well will have it. So I hope you understand that essentially, you are not just my investors, you are my marketing tactic. I will use you, I will abuse you, but I will make you money. Thank you.